What is this video about? 50 facts about me. Perhaps you don't know, but I am actually not a fashion designer. I am an architect. At the time when I applied at different colleges, I also applied for fashion design. But finally I decided to become an architect. So this is what I do at the moment for my living. I design houses. I was born in Bulgaria, but when I was 15 we moved to Germany. And I spent 13 years of my life living in Cologne. At the moment I am at Bulgaria. I am Pisces, but my ascendant is Leo. I was born on a Sunday in March and it was snowing outside. I was supposed to be a boy. I share my birthday with Queen Latifah. My relatives, parents and close friends call me Mimi. I have a younger brother, his name is Iskren, I-S-K-R-E-N, and his name literally means honest. I have a dog. He's Pekingese Pincher Mix. His name is Ronnie, short for Ronaldo. He hates cameras. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. I have learned five languages. I'm fluent in English, German, Bulgarian. Hablo un poco de español, pero muy malo. And I also speak a little bit of Russian because it's very similar to Bulgarian. I used to bite on my fingernails. I still sometimes bite on my cuticles. I'm short-sighted. I'm blind as a bird if I don't wear my contacts or my glasses. When I was little, I want to become a doctor. About a year ago, no one no one of my friends or relatives knew about me being on YouTube. When they found out, they were like, You do what? I was a huge fan of the Backstreet Boys. And I was totally in love with guess who? I know I know. I used to sing in the children's choir in my town. I sang in the school choir and then I decided to take private singing lessons, but when I started with college, I gave it up. I took piano lessons, but I'm not that good. I have drawn since I can remember. I drew on the street, I drew in kindergarten, I drew at school, and I also drew at home. On the walls, with permanent markers. I love telling people about movies I've watched lately, which drives them crazy, because I'm very detailed in my storytelling, because it can take me hours before the happy ending comes. A while ago, while my father was out of the country, I secretly took his car, but as I was backing out of the garage, the front bumper uh, stuck in the door and fell off. I immediately called my boyfriend to repair it and my father has never learned about it. I'm obsessed with buying makeup and cosmetics. I love making lists with my assignments for the day. I'm obsessed with historical movies and fashion and if there was a way to travel through time I'd be the first person to visit these ages. The thing I most anxious about is how people and cities smell and what they ate. Now here's something to laugh about. This is one of my first illustrations in the kindergarten and I really remember drawing it. Look at this figure and the proportions and the colors. I was so born to be a fashion illustrator. I remember my teacher was kind of annoying because I never used other colors than yellow so she took my sheet of paper, gave me a new one and told me to use other colors than yellow. Now this is the second result.
when I was little, we were renovating our apartment. A stack of old newspapers, um, which was lying near the oven, caught fire while I was sitting on my party. I scared myself to death. Ever since, I can smell smoke and fire before anybody else smells it. My favorite fruits are peaches. I am so scared of haze, which is very inconvenient for an architect. But believe it or not, I very much like the feeling of flying. So it may sound ridiculous, but one of my favorite places to go to is a theme park near Cologne, which is called Fantasia Land. I love to be scared and I love the thrill rides. The higher, the faster better. And I kind of dream of the day when I'll have the courage to jump with a bungee. When I draw, I listen to movie soundtracks. I'm a movie songs junkie. I always read the book before I watch the movie based on it. At the age of 18, I got two of my wisdom teeth removed and the last two after the last operation though, I lost the feeling in the left side of my tongue for three months. I sometimes talk to my notebook, especially if I'm about to render a video, which demands on his full capacity. Usually I promise him to clean him after he's done his job. Does this sound crazy? I hate water, dark water especially. I have no problem swimming in deeper waters, but I can't have it. I'm absolutely freaking out if I can't see the sea bottom or if there is a dark spot under me. I feel as... I think there's something which is driving me crazy. Some kind of monster. I never sleep on my back. I sleep on my side or my stomach. I took dance lessons. I kind of hate sports and I know this sounds terrible. But I have those phases in my life when I decide to go to the gym. But my Motivation doesn't last for longer than three months. I'm absolutely in love with traveling and experiencing new cultures and new places. They say women cannot read the map and they are pretty much lost if they have to find a place. But if I have to go to a place which I'm not really familiar with, I kind of sit down and study the map and really memorize the names of the streets and the route I am going to use. So when I'm driving, for, for instance, I know exactly where I am and where I'm going to. I kind of visualize my position on the map. I'm like a human GPS. When I was three years old, I put a pair of scissors into the socket outlet an electric shock. The most inspiring moment for me personally is when it's raining or snowing outside. This is my time to be creative. My most favorite subjects at school were art, music and mathematics. I have never learned to ride a bicycle. No, there it is. I can't ride a bicycle. I'm perhaps the only person on the earth I can bicycle. I have this habit of mind to watch people. For instance, when I ride the subway, I love watching people's features or their body language. I kind of search for the most prominent and beautiful feature of a person, whether it's his or nose or perhaps his figure and when I find out which part of them are the most beautiful I 
kind of really want to draw it. I love to hold a person's beauty on a sheet of paper. I have a small scar on my upper lip because when I was little, I jumped from the sofa and cut my lip on the glass table. After a solo dancing performance during the carnival in Cologne, I wanted to go off stage, but I managed to fall on stairs for everyone to see. Really embarrassing. I had a self-destructive phase in my life a few years ago because I suddenly decided that I really need a blonde hair. So I dyed my hair by myself and I ended up looking like the sibling of my dog. Look at this picture, for instance. A week later, I was brunette again. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please leave a comment below this video telling me one fact about you. It can be something funny or something really scary or whatever you want. I will really enjoy it because I read every single comment on my video. So, bye. I'll see you on our next adventure.